Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Today we have a Surface Pro from Department of Air Force um, from Area 52. Is that the one with the aliens and stuff? No, I don't think that's, that's the one. Um, what do we have here? Uh, BIOS locked, which is very good because it's... Uh, well, I, I had one from Department of Homeland Security and it was not bias locked. I mean, still the, the, the drive is encrypted, SSD is encrypted with BitLocker. So it's not like it's a major security vulnerability, but I was thinking um, if technically, if you have access to BIOS, you can disable secure boot. Maybe you can boot from the USB and start cracking you know, encryption. But on the other hand, it's the same thing. You just open the laptop, take the SSD, and you have the same access. So I don't think it's it's a huge security vulnerability to, to have no um, BIOS lock or no password on the BIOS. But um, I, I, would just, I would just advise it. <laughs> I would always advise to, for the BIOS to be, to be locked. And there is a bulging over here. So the battery is bulged uh, and the display, as you can see, is cracked, but the crack is not huge. There's very minimum damage to the frame, meaning we can fix this. We can revive this one. So the back flap, the, the leg closes correctly, right? It's not right it, it it touches correctly so the the frame is not bent over here if it was then we would need to replace the the frame and here we i'll see if i can uh, maybe after we disassemble it maybe bend it a little uh, to make it as straight as possible uh, it's a very minimum damage see that slight bent over here should be fine. Now, uh, so what we want to do to it is um, take off the screen, uh, reset the BIOS, replace the battery, and go from there. But before we do that, uh, let's see if we can see <laughs> who this belonged to. Um, let's see. Oh, it's very slow charging, but that's actually not surprising because the battery is bulged. Uh, so that is actually expected. Let's boot it. It's booting. Department of the Air Force, United States Air Force standard desktop. Awesome. Digitizer kind of works. <laughs> DOD notice and consent. Yeah, you are accessing the US government information system that is provided for USG authorized on use only. I am not USG authorized, but let's see. There's no user leak. Sometimes when you open this uh, from whatever government branch, uh, sometimes there is a name that you just add. it just asks you for the, the password. Sign into area 52. Whoop. Yeah, the digitizer has problems, but that's to be expected. It actually works pretty well for the for the damage it has. <laughs> it works pretty well. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna shut you down. Oh, um, now it charges <coughs> with full current. Actually, even more. Uh, oh, it's still not off. It's still on 31 watts, 32 watts, 21. <coughs> now it's off and it's charging with full current, 21 watts. So the charging circuit is fine. The computer is fine. This is a 256 version. 
Yes, it is, which means it has 8 gigs of memory. Normally, the 128 versions, they come with uh, 4 gigs of RAM, which is sufficient for the majority of work that day-to-day -day work that you might be doing. Uh, but definitely 8 gigs is better. Uh, let me see if I can get better angle here. Do we have focus? Uh, yeah, sorry about this camera. I need to get the new camera that catches focus faster or has manual focus. All right, 220. Two twenty on the heat gun, and let's start blowing.
Okay, so here we have an example of corrupted bios. So, as you probably noticed, the computer wouldn't boot. Then I figured maybe the soldering was bad. Then I tried a few times. It didn't help. So I replaced the solder because I figured, well, maybe maybe that connection is just not good. Still nothing. It boots. It, it draws 35 watts, so it boots properly, but nothing on the display. And usually that is when when the bio, when the, there's something wrong with the BIOS, so I mentioned that last time that when programming, I just don't don't touch the desk because it happens because my connection here, I don't know my my equipment is is not the best that I'm using here. Right, it, everything's just kind of hanging. Uh, but meanwhile, I was working on the desk, and as you can see, this happens. So I'm thinking we got corrupted. Uh, we got corrupted, and that's what is causing this issue. Yeah, I didn't think the soldering was good. So I replaced the, the chip, the BIOS chip, with some random chip that I found. And, you know, if it's a BIOS issue, then the computer will boot. And it did. It did go into BIOS, so everything's fine. So now we just need to re-upload the code to this chip. But first it needs to be soldered on properly. So that is some weird case. I have to think about it longer. So we know it's the BIOS issue, right? Because replacing this chip resolved the problem, right? Hmm. So. Hmm. I have to think about it, but here's my plan, at least what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to read the MI version of, of this BIOS, see what it is. I know it's version 11, 11 point something, because otherwise the fit 11 wouldn't read it when you compress it. The BIOS region that I used is the one I've been using for for a while now. And so far there hasn't been any issues other than sometimes the corrupted corrupted binary. Hmm. Well, 
I got myself a interesting case then. Stay tuned for part two, I guess, because I haven't figured this out yet. What I could do is just upload the, the original BIOS and confirm that nothing else is wrong and it will probably boot. Um, something wrong with the BIOS region. Hmm. Well, hope you enjoyed this struggle. It took way too much time and very little results. That sucks. <laughs> but some jobs are like that. Uh, only practice makes perfect, right? Thank you fellas very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one.